Um, now, let's talk about Normal Man, because I actually you know, grew up with that. I read it as a kid, and I'm a huge fan of it. Where did the idea for that come from? I came from a couple of places. Um, a friend of mine told me he wanted to write a, a bunch of vignette stories called Tales of the Innocent Bystander. It was about a guy who was always in the wrong place at the wrong time. And I was living in a town called Normal Heights, of all things. And I thought that was just really bizarre. And somehow or another, the two kind of meshed together. And so I asked him if it was cool if I sort of semi-swiped his idea for Tales of the Innocent Bystander, except I put him on a world where everyone was a superhero except him. So it all just sort of, it all just sort of fused together from a bunch of different things. Now, did you have anything to do with the conception of the characters in 1963? No, well, except for one of them, Johnny Beyond. But okay. other than that, um, they were all Alan, Steve, and Rick. And uh, Johnny Beyond, um, Alan called me up and uh, he said uh, in his very thick English accent, what would Dr. Strange look like if he was Jack Kerouac? And I said, he'd look like Jaime Hernandez. And Alan dropped the phone laughing and goes, yeah, that's it. <laughs> so that, that's, that's how we created Johnny Beyond. That's great. Okay, so now, and what, what do you see in the near future, or in the next five to ten years for Image Comics? Oh, you know, it's really hard to say. Um, uh, movement into digital comics, for one thing, of course, you know, that's fairly obvious at this point. Um, I think Image will, will continue to be one of the most diverse companies publishing comics out there, because we don't really have any um, genre, any kind of... We, we just, we like everything. We're, we're very wide in, in our acceptance, so you're going to see unusual books that are so good that, that they actually make it. Things like Walking Dead, you know, which was the first zombie book in like forever, or Chew, you know, or um, our own Morning Glories, or, you know, whatever. They're all completely different, and I think that's a very good thing. I think it's good for the industry, I think it's good for comics, and it's certainly good for creators because they don't have to follow a narrow path. Can you tell us what's going on with Image United right now? 